architectural, inviting, contemporary, calming, sustainable, and timeless are just a few words that come to mind when I think of Spoonbill Beach House. But the real star of this property is its impressive design by the award-winning team at Bark Architects. Steve and Lindy, this is an amazing creation. When you guys first discussed creating this home, what was the basic brief you guys were given? It was a fairly broad one, but centered around a natural um, landscape and kind of response to climate. Um, a really relaxed beach house that would kind of really connect the clients to the, the environment. And sit nestled in the trees, and the trees were a really important part, the beautiful Morton Bay ashes, which would all be around 50 or 60 years old. It's almost like the trees and the experience of coming over into the entry was like walking over a dune. It was kind of like trying to keep that experience. There's such a beautiful feeling in this house and I think it is partly because of the beautiful materials you guys have used. Um, what sort of materials were used in the creation of this place? Most of it's timber, um, beautiful spotted gum, which is locally grown and recycled. And that was kind of about looking for a natural, naturalness and a kind of relaxed material palette that really connected to the landscape, but also had that low energy footprint in terms of using recycled materials. It's kind of a carbon capture in itself. One of my favourite features about this house is the amount of light that comes in. It's like a, it's like a Japanese lantern, uh, the way you've designed it, it's beautiful. But what are some of the favourite features for you guys? It'd have to be the central space. This, this room, it's almost like an outdoor room. It's just where everybody gathers and you know, meals are shared, um, guests are accommodated. It's just one of those spaces that you know, it connects the two wings of the house. I, I, I like how the, the house is tucked away from the street. It's, it's got that privacy, it's got that intrigue and, and I think it's that trying to connect people to nature um, and trying to do it well, as well as we can. <laughs>